Well, all right. Uh, happy Friday to you. It's a Friday I'm making this video. It might not be a Friday when you watch it, but it's a Friday when I'm making it. And I know I did one video already this week, but as it turns out, I got time to make another one. So, I went through my list, and of all I had left, because I was only going to do three more, do seven total for this series, and uh, I picked out five, and I'm going to pick three out of that five, and uh, today, I'm going with Wrath. And if you want, like, a recap of what we've done already. We did idolatry first. Then we did adultery. Then we did jealousy and envy. And then lastly, we did lasciviousness. Today we're going to do grace. And, uh... Just in case you're wondering, uh, I'm getting these, I'm getting these uh, subjects out of the the passages in the Bible that say, you know, they shall not inherit the kingdom of God and whatnot. Uh, Galatians five nineteen through twenty one and First Corinthians six nine through ten is where I got my list from. So, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, start off like I do every video for this series. Because I don't want people getting all confused. Uh, the Bible says that if you do these things, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. What it's saying is that these are the things you choose over salvation. Because ultimately... Rejecting Jesus Christ and his sacrifice that paid for your sins, uh, that's what's going to be, well, that, that's what's going to send you to hell, you know. So, I'm not saying that saved people can't commit these sins, especially this one today. Uh, I'm just saying if you've never repented of these sins, if you never repent of them, you never put your trust in Jesus, then... They're going to take you to hell. Because you've never been forgiven for them. And that's required. But we're going to do wrath today. I looked it up. Uh, definition. Violent anger. Violent anger. I mean there's some other things. They had too. That I looked up. But uh, that was basically the gist of it. Coming from the Greek word. Orge. Orge. In case you know you're fascinated with the Greek like I am, I like to look up Greek just to make sure. And so far, you know, I'm not saying I've been through the whole Bible in Greek, but every time, and I use the King James, but every time I look up the Greek, and you know, when I'm reading the King James, I look up the Greek word to see what it means. It's right. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that I'm not picking on anybody. I'm just saying that my pastor was telling me a story about some pastor that called him and said, well, I don't use the KJV because I know what the Greek means. Well, I've not looked up any word in here in the Greek. That wasn't correct. So, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. But it means violent anger. Uh, Greek word, orge. And Jesus was not a big fan of anger. You know, he was a pretty gentle person. For the most part. Now I'm not saying he didn't have to get angry. And we're going to get into that in a little bit. Matthew 5. 22-24 But I say unto you. That whosoever is angry with his brother. Without a cause. Shall be in danger of the judgment. And whoever shall say to his brother. Raka. However that's pronounced. Shall be in danger of the council, but whoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of the hellfire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, 
and there rememberest that thy brother hath aught against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. So Jesus is saying not to be mad, not to be angry, to, you know, toward your brother. And uh, now you probably, you might be thinking, well, Jesus was pretty angry in the temple when he was kicking over tables and whipping people. So we'll read that story. I'll we'll read them verses real quick. Over in John. John chapter 2, verse 15 and 16. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changer's money and overthrew the tables and said unto them that sold doves, take these things hence, make not my father's house and house of merchandise. So here's the difference between uh, Jesus' anger and, uh, you know, our regular people anger Jesus was mad because people were offending God you know they were doing things in the house of God that they weren't supposed to be doing and they knew they weren't supposed to be doing them so his anger was righteous you know Jesus was perfect he didn't sin so if he got angry it was always righteous anger and Paul talks about this, Ephesians 4.26. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. (laughs) Paul is trying to tell him. If you're going, if you get angry, don't sin. But, and the best way to do that is just to avoid getting angry to begin with. But we're human beings, so that's not really going to be possible. But it says here, neither give place to the devil. Because when you get angry, your 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 chances of sinning they kind of you know go up some. Because there's a difference between human anger and righteous anger. We're going to go to James. uh, James chapter 1 verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. So you have to ask yourself, are you angry because someone offended you personally? Or are you angry because somebody offended God? Because, you know, it's two different things. Somebody cut you off in traffic and you're red in the face and, you know, you know how people act in traffic. I drive in traffic for over an hour to and from work every day. I see how people act in traffic and it almost gets me sometimes. It almost does. Thank God my truck's too slow to catch people. But uh, (laughs) it gets to me sometimes too. And I just got to just let it go. But am I, are you mad because someone offended you or are you mad because they offended God? Because it's okay to get mad on behalf, you know, of God. Someone is just being, you know how people are. How they are when they they hate God, because that's how men are. But are you mad at them for that, or are you mad at them because they hurt your little feelings? Because that's two different things. But you can be angry and remain perfectly calm. And I know that's easier for some people. A lot of people will tell you about me. Oh, Richard never gets mad about anything. He don't never lose his temper. And for the most part, I don't I don't lose my temper very often. 
you really got to do something to get me to lose my temper. But it's been known to happen. I was telling somebody the other day that cooking makes me lose my temper. <laughs> Especially when I'm cooking eggs and they stick to the pan. Ooh, I get mad. But uh, Proverbs fifteen eighteen. A wrathful man stirreth up strife, but he that is slow to anger appeaseth strife. So see how that works out? Someone, say they cut you off in the line at the supermarket and you just fly off the handle immediately. And that stirs up strife. And by that, I mean conflict is going to sue because what if you're mad okay say you somebody does something they cut you off in the line at walmart or something and you just lose it then that's going to make them mad because i know that's how it is for me probably is that way for a lot of people when someone just gets ridiculously mad at me like like that then it automatically my defenses come on and I get just as mad back at them. But uh, slow to anger. Someone skips you in line. You're like, excuse me, sir. Uh, the line's back there. You know, just kindly let them know. Whatever. And then maybe if you got to let it go, you let it go. But it doesn't stir up conflict. It doesn't stir up strife. And, uh, Last first is going to be in Romans. Romans 12, 19. You know, and in those situations where you're trying to stay calm and not be angry, that don't make you weak. It doesn't make you weak to refrain your, to restrain yourself from just flying off the handle and just screaming red face at somebody. And and one thing we got to remember is that, you know, when someone does us wrong, we want immediate vengeance. You know, that's how, like I was mentioning earlier in traffic, when I'm driving in traffic and someone, and I'm going to speed limit or maybe just a little bit above speed limit, and the person behind me just flies around me like I'm going still. That aggravates me. I don't know why it just does. People just driving crazy on the road like that. And it makes me want to just grab another gear and get up there and do the same to them. But I'm like, I want immediate, immediate vengeance. Like when someone does that, I would just want a cop just to appear out of the woods and pull them over. But yeah, God. But refraining from anger doesn't make you weak. It just means that you're putting it into the hands of the ultimate judge. Romans 12, 19, like I just said we were going to. Dearly beloved, this is Paul talking to the Romans here. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. So even though you might want immediate vengeance. You'd be a lot better off just giving it to God. Remain calm if you can. If not, just Lord, I'm giving it to you. Because he said, vengeance is mine, I will repay. He'll handle it. You know, he will handle it for you. You don't have to deal with it. You don't have to let it get you all red faced. Refrain from anger. <coughs> That's all the time I got today. I'm running out. But uh, I just wanted to say real quick that I appreciate all your new followers or subscribers and my new page followers on Facebook. I appreciate that a lot. I got several of them over the last week or two. So welcome, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy my videos and whatnot. But I did order a new microphone that's a lot bigger than this little tiny one and uh, it, it'll be here tomorrow so my next video will have a little bit better sound but until next time take up your cross carry on